welcome back to sick see you next tuesday <laughs> and, and today tuesday yes but it's a very special tuesday it is it's an eve it's maybe my favorite tuesday it should be of the year of the year <laughs> of this year yeah um because tomorrow is a very important day it's maybe the most important day of the year. For you, hardly. <laughs> no, for everyone. <laughs> no, I wouldn't say that. Um, tomorrow is Halloween Eve. <laughs> it's, um, hold on, my hair's going crazy. Oh, she's so, she's <laughs> partying, she's excited. It's, um, it is Halloween Eve. It's also, what is it, All Saints Day? Um, I think that's. I the, believe it's All Saints Day. I thought that was November 1st. No, that's all Souls Day. Oh. Well. Uh, you um, would probably know, wouldn't you? Okay, so I lied. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's All Hallows Eve. It's All Hallows Eve. And what a film that is. Or just Hallows Eve. I don't know. No, all, I went to All Hallows. That was my primary school. It's All Hallows. Baby. Okay, it, it, yes, 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 yes. It is All Hallows Eve. Yes. Happy All Hallows Eve. Um, okay, maybe it's not. I don't know. I don't know anymore. Is All Hallows Eve just Halloween? I think it might be because it's the eve of November first. So. Yeah. Um. Um. <laughs> <laughs> wait. Okay. Hold on. It's National. Wait. Tomorrow or today's National Cast Day. Cat Day. Oh, Happy Pussy Day. It's also National Candy Corn Day on tomorrow. Oh my God! What a treat for you. Yep. <laughs> and it's also. Ben Thomas's birthday. Yeah, finally. It yes. only took us two minutes, Woo. but it is my birthday. He's turning 40. I'm turning 12. You wish. You I wish. don't actually. <laughs> That'd be crazy. I don't think I want to be 12. Imagine you're 11 right now. <laughs> yeah, guys. Annabelle's filming this podcast with, with an 11 year old. She would. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, it's my birthday. Happy tomorrow. birthday, Eve. That's so Thank exciting. You. I'm happy to be here. Thanks for having me. You're so welcome. Only today. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Um, this is when... No, go ahead. No, it's literally your birthday, <laughs> Eve. I'm going to shut my mouth. You're almost my elder. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, so as we did two months ago with um, Annie's birthday. Who's she? <laughs> Who the hell is she? We watched one of her favorite movies, and I gave her a little quiz. So um, true. And so we're doing that again. Yes, the tables um, have turned. I would like to say, I'd like some to preface some things. Please. One, um, it feels so weird coming into this, having not prepared anything. Because like, you're honestly not... See, now you know how I feel every week. <laughs> I just show up. <laughs> so blind like so truly blind. this is weird though it's Cause weird because you haven't even watched anything i know i was like ready to pull up notes yeah um oh, oh baby girl i've got my notes <laughs> <laughs> i was literally pulling up my notes and then i was like wait i didn't watch anything which is also crazy and kind of it's nerve-wracking i know how you feel now <laughs> you know how i feel just showing up every week and flying no by no the no i mean pants. for your birthday when you didn't oh. watch the movie is what i mean okay yes i didn't like that i don't like yeah. being quizzed and not knowing the material That's really or like having to rely on my previous knowledge of the material and not being able yeah. to study so we're doing that again yes i struggled in picking my favorite movie obviously it's hot um and i wouldn't say i picked like my favorite movie either I like this is to definitely one of my favorite comedies because it um it's, it's fun just, yeah like it's so fun and i growing up i watched it so much like yeah. an unbelievable amount mm -hmm. um which is why i felt i also wanted to pick something that i would feel comfortable being not quizzed watching on. yeah and and being able to answer questions about because okay. i think that i could probably quote this movie from start to finish Okay, well, then I think you're going to do well. We'll see. I was all, see, the other thing was, like, I was going to pick movies that I, like, knew super well and loved, but I was like, we could do this for a sleepover, so I don't want to do it. That's so true. Yeah. I even, like, for my birthday one, I was like, I don't want to pick, like, a sleepover potential movie. Mm -hmm. I don't want to pick one that we have, like, insane crossover with. Yeah. Because then, like... Yeah, these What's could the be 
other episodes. Exactly. And so, because I was going to do She's the Man. Oh, but that's... Um, that's bomb. one, a crossover, and also could be a sleepover. Exactly. Um, and then I was also going to pick Aquamarine, but that's like made for sleepover. That's made for sleepover. Like, truly. Yeah. So We've also talked like, about doing a teen movie episode anyway. Yeah. Like, so, and those would probably, yeah. So... They all fit the um, bill. I decided to go with... 2011's Just Go With It. Yes. <laughs> Crazy pick. I Great am pick. not a huge Adam Sandler fan. Neither am um, I. I'm th- like, I'm not at all. Like, I have exceptions, and this is one of them. I don't dislike Adam Sandler. I feel like he found his brand and he stuck with it, and I'm I, good for him. Um, yes. Does it hit every time? No. Mm hmm. Um, however, I think Just Go With It and maybe one of the funniest movies I've ever seen in my life. It kills. <laughs> it kills. It's so funny. Mm-hmm. Um, and Adam Sandler and seems nice personally. Yeah. No, fully. I'm sure he's a lovely man. I um, just don't think that he's particularly funny, but good for him. Yeah. Except in some movies, including this one. Yes. Yeah. I also feel like he has great chemistry with Jennifer Aniston. 100%. Which, Nicole Kidman's here. It's like yeah, she, Academy Award winner Nicole Kidman is yeah. here. But um, I have not watched this movie in a very long time. Yeah, when do you think we should last watch? I feel it was before Letterboxd. Yes, because you've got your rating, but you do not have a review. Mm-hmm. Um, it was before Letterboxd, which means it was before 2022. Mm-hmm. Um, however, there are moments where I like frequently will just like put it on. Um. I want to say it's probably 21, 20 when okay, I watched it okay. last. Yeah. So it wasn't horrible. Wait, maybe four years. you were 21, 20 or it, the no, year no, no, was no. 2021? 20, 20. Yeah. 20, 20. I'd say like four years ago. Okay. Was probably last time I watched it. Okay. Um, the way that I watched it more recently than you was wild. I know. I, it's so good though. It's so like, good. I could watch it a million times. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I can try and give a rundown of the plot without cheating and without having watched it recently. Okay, yeah, I was going to ask you to do it anyway. I, you made me do theater camp, so. Exactly. This is my rundown of the plot, not having seen the movie for four years. Yes. Um, so just go with it. It's a remake. Um, what? Of What's Up, Doc. Really? Uh, it is, yes. Oh, what is that? Like the Bugs Bunny movie? <laughs> no. <Nope>. Okay. <laughs> so What's Up, Doc is from the 70s mm-hmm. um, with Ryan O'Neill and Barbara Streisand. Oh, kills okay um and this is basically um hold on let me make sure i'm right on that one maybe it's not what's up doc um i trust you no i feel like i'm wrong now um cactus flower i'm so sorry it's not what's up doc it's cactus flower Flower? yes it's cactus flower which is from the 60s and that's with goldie hawn and ingrid bergman shut up actually you know what this gives like a goldie hawn movie yeah that makes a lot of sense it's basically the same thing um but it's cactus flower i have seen Mm -hmm. cactus flower um i like this better (laughs) all right all right but um so it is about adam sandler who Mm -hmm. plays a very wealthy plastic surgeon Mm mm-hmm um and jennifer aniston plays his assistant um and when before he was a plastic surgeon he was left at the altar by his real life wife playing the role um and so he becomes a plastic surgeon he fixes all of his own insecurities and um basically pretends that his wife has left him at bars so that women will go home with him um and he's Effective. scared of commitment all that kind of stuff a yep. womanizer minka kelly's in it mm-hmm. um <laughs> star of just go with it minka kelly truly one of the highlights of the movie um is she why you watched it originally or just you watched oh, it oh no 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 i watched this movie the, like the day it came out okay just yeah. because yeah same donna and i hit cinemas yeah um so he plays this womanizer role where he doesn't really ever commit and he meets um a teacher from Los Angeles, Brooklyn Decker, um, model, uh, turned actress, who's actually kind of good um, for a model. Honestly, yeah. Yeah. Because um, usually those don't usually go that well. She's not the best. 
No, um, but also like I don't need her to be. What yeah, does the role this demand? Is, this is just go with it. <laughs> it's an Adam Sandler movie. <laughs> there was actually one line in particular that I'm not going to spoiler alert because it's in the questions that I was like, oh no. Oh, she played that really sincerely. Stop. <laughs> oh no. Okay. But um, so he meets her, um, play, does the whole s- scheme on her as well, and then realizes that he kind of might be in love with her. So he has to keep up this charade of him and his ex-wife and it leads to his ex-wife and him having kids and there's this whole scheme and so he basically gets jennifer aniston his assistant and her two kids to sort of play along in this scheme and sort of fool her into thinking that they're family um so that she will fall in love with him they end up going on a trip to hawaii um which is iconic iconic Um, i think that really like is one of the reasons why the movie kills as well. No, like, it's the setting so, is so fun. good. I was like, I, I want to be there. I know. And then there's just so many fun, wacky characters. Nicole Kidman plays Ugh. an ex sorority girl. Mm-hmm. Um, with they were in Gen- Jennifer Aniston's sorority. That was um, almost one of my questions. <laughs> what is she How in they a sorority? Know each other? Oh, well, she's in a sorority. Um, so true. And um, she's sort of like the the passive aggressive like bully. Like she's trying to be nice and peppy but is kind of a bitch um and like so it's just fun um and then obviously we realize that jennifer aniston and adam sandler were in love the whole time um (gasps) what and it's so cute because you get to see him like bond with her kids and like become sort of this father figure to them um so and like whole cast kills because you've got like you've got bailey madison you've got bailey madison you've got griffin Griffin gluck My favorite racist. Star of Tall Girl. Star of he, him and Sabrina Carpenter's relationship. Yes. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's honestly so fun. Um, yeah. We can get into the questions or I can tell you my favorite scene in the movie. Tell me your favorite <laughs> scene in the movie. <laughs> I think about this scene constantly. Like genuinely. Okay. This crosses my mind maybe like once a week. And it's the scene when they're going to J.D. McFunnigan's. Mm-hmm. Um, and as they're entering the building, Jennifer Anderson's glammed up, the kids are walking, Adam Sandler's walking, and the child runs onto screen and, th- and throws a drink at his pregnant mother <laughs> in slow motion. And that's maybe my favorite scene in any movie ever made, I think. It kills. It's so funny. It kills. I love that. And the, none um, of the questions are about that. Okay, good. So, good. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> Is one of the questions, what magazine does Palmer bring in the airport? No. Okay. Do you know the answer? <laughs> 17. Oh, great. Because she goes, oh, isn't that your age? Okay, I fear you're going to kill. We'll see, we'll see. You're making me nervous. I feel like you're picking, like, niche. Some of them are, some of them aren't. Like, okay. the first, one of them you already answered. I tried to do a good mix. Oh, I wait, which one? It's, like, super easy. Okay, okay. Where do they go? <laughs> Honestly, I was going to do that. I, but I didn't. Okay. Um, what is Danny's job? He's a plastic surgeon. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Correct. Yes. Oh, I will say one thing. Sorry. Please. Um, there's the one thing I dislike about this movie. What do you dislike? And it is um, Eddie, the character of Eddie. That's wild. I love I him. I really, I don't know why. Okay. I like Eddie as eddie mm. but when he like when he's putting on this awful character of jennifer aniston's current husband yeah. or boyfriend i guess not husband um i, I personally think it's you like it yeah i hate it especially the sheep scene i hate that whole scene <laughs> i'm not gonna lie in the cinema daughter and i were like hysterically losing our minds at that scene and then we walked away and we told people about the movie and we told them about that scene and said you need to see (laughs) that's my least favorite scene in the whole movie i love that scene why i mean that's fine i i do think it's like funny um i don't know i just think it's uh, i don't know i don't know and what a great film that it's so divisive yeah yeah right these conflicting opinions yet we're able to both love it amen and that's any so that means beautiful. everyone can love it it means everyone can love it and love different parts and argue about that and get heated yep 
that's true. All right. <laughs> okay. Anyways. Anyway, um, so plastic surgeon correct. Question Woo. number two. What is Danny's original career aspiration? Oh my gosh. It's harder. This is, I tried to put it in order of like easiest to hard, but then this one directly followed from that one. So this is a harder say, one. It's going to get easier again. Is this in again. the intro when he's... Yes. It's just before he sees Minky. So I thought maybe you would have seen that scene quite a bit. I have. And I used to watch that scene on YouTube. I figured. Is it when he's talking to her at the bar? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Um... I don't know why, but I'm like leaning towards, he's not saying, is he saying it like being false? No, so like this, is before, this is before he pivots to his new career. This is like, I oh, really yes, want to be blank, first, so he's being yeah. genuine. Oh my God, I actually, can I have a hint? I, I, I know my, what's in my head is wrong, but I'll, I'll say what I'm, is in my head, I know it's wrong, and then okay. can I have a hint? yes. I, for some reason in my head, I'm thinking like trumpet player. No. Yeah. Okay. It's not like Please. out of left field. It's in the same like what he studied. So it's like. Oh, is it like anesthesiology? No. So you know what I t has just occurred to me? It's actually quite metaphorical. And that he pivots from what he originally wants to study to focus on something more shallow. What is it? I don't know. He wants to be a cardiologist. Oh, I would have never in a million so years. So he strays that. from the heart to focus on the physical yes. and then goes back that's, to the heart at the that's end. That's actually deep. That's and actually insanely deep. That. And I've, like, just now I had that epiphany. Yeah. That's okay. actually crazy. Happy Madison. No, literally, what? what? the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. That is crazy. That is crazy. Um, Next question. But that, okay. was, that was a hard one. Yeah, I felt, I felt it. Yeah. Also, I do have an important question. Please. Spoiler alert. Not all of these questions are about the film. Five <gasps> of them are about birthdays. Ah! Whose birthday is it? Ben. <laughs> you coy little boy. It's Halloween's birthday tomorrow. You're right. You're right. Never forget. Um, say I have 16 questions. How many do I ask before I ask your birthday question? What's the maths on if that? If you have five. Wait, so you have... Five birthday questions and 16 or 15. Three. Three. All right. One more question <laughs> before another question. Um, why does Michael, a.k.a. Griffin Glock, want to go to Hawaii? To swim with the dolphins. Ding, ding, ding. But he can't swim. No. Okay. Spoilers. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> um. Great. Well, I knew you'd kill. I told you it gets easier. <laughs> um, now, question number four. How are you spending your birthday this year? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, I feel like I'm having three different celebrations for my birthday. Love. Um, so I, by the time this is recorded, this is not true, but I will have um, yes. gone to see my parents and mm -hmm. my sister um for two days over the weekend mm -hmm. um, i'm gonna go to like an amusement park mm -hmm. um and like a corn maze and that kind of thing love and then i am getting dinner with my friends my lovely friends who care about me love. except for anna shout out because she doesn't care <laughs> she hates you okay you've had you're having full <laughs> birthday celebrations that's not true we Your had birthday's a, we begun had a, we had a pre-birthday celebration you together because she couldn't make it. Yeah. Um, and then the next, this coming weekend, I will be in New York oh, City. Um, and Annabelle and I are going to see Romeo and Juliet. Yes. And we're going to have a little weekend in New York. Yeah, we are <laughs> in New York on Broadway. And that's my birthday celebration. I'm like excited for this year. I don't know why, but like a month ago I was like, I'm not doing anything except seeing Romeo and Juliet. Um, okay, one, that's crazy. Which, like, like that's obviously incredible. I'm excited. I'm seeing it, like, three times. Kids so right I'm there. obviously excited. Yeah. But I don't know what I was thinking because I am doing quite a lot. So yeah. I'm excited. Yeah, and also, like, it doesn't just happen. You plan it. I know. And plus, it's, like, it's Halloween as well, so I have... Ex exactly. 
a Halloween party next week. And that's fun I... that it like your birthday celebrations are straddling Halloween. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It is fun. I'm excited. Yeah. Love. Um correct. <laughs> 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 they had it listed down and I wish we had buzzers. Like, <laughs> um, well, that's up to you. I editing. have buzzers. I literally have buzzers. So, well, I don't. Can you ship me one right now? <laughs> no, I could do it in editing, though. Perfect. Okay. We're back to an easy one. Okay, okay. What is the full... Because the last one was a hard one. The sorry. last one was a doozy. <laughs> <laughs> what is the full name of Nicole Kidman's character? Oh, um, it's Devlin mm-hmm. Maccabee. No, that's um, her last name. Mm-hmm. Devlin. That's, that's um, Adam Sandler's last name. Yeah, 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 yeah. Devlin. Oh, my God. Wait, can I get, like, a first letter? A. Devlin. A. Devlin, no, 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 I know it, I know it, I know it, I know it. I actually do. I'm so serious, I know it. Hold on. Devlin, uh, Devlin Adams. Yes! Devlin Adams. Killed. It's, killed, I was killed. gonna say, because it's Devlin Maccabee is his last yes. name, and she was always making jokes. And she uses, Dev- yeah, that's that her, like, her fake Devlin, name. Yeah, Devlin Maccabee. Yes, yes. Killed. Devlin Adams. Killed, slaughtered. Um, what color is Minky's top? <laughs> <laughs> wait okay is it blue is it red there's red on it i was gonna say it's got like ho- holes or something or like a like a dis pattern or something that's red and then is it really it's not like a teal no is it black no hold on Can you tell me what, like, the pattern or the design is? Flowers. Purple? For the top? Yeah. No. What is it? White. Oh, my God. I kept thinking it was darker. So, I'm not going to lie. I was kind of shocked. So, I wrote this question before I rewatched the film. Because for some reason, Minky Shop really stood out to me. I have a weird clothes memory. Um... I was, I remember the red flowers and in my mind it was black with red flowers. I rewatched the film and said, it's white with red flowers. So I had to change the word black to white. Totally. Yes. Yeah. I only really remember the skirt. Yep. Wow. But that was still pretty close. I remember red. I did not know it was white. That was not. That's crazy. That's also. I never said white either. I know. I like literally remembered it completely differently. Yeah. Maybe it's just because the bar was dark. Maybe. I don't know. I was looking at the pictures and some of the lightings. It's weird because it's like you can't tell because of the light. But it is definitely white. It is. She's a little whitey. (gasps) Not Minky. (laughs) I'm not (laughs) erasing her. (laughs) Um, Okay. What vegetable is Danny's original nose likened to? Oh my god. His wife says this. Yes. Or his wife's friend or whatever. Maybe yeah. yeah. yeah during, I, like, I can't the... even remember which one is his wife. It's not an eggplant, is it? No, but you're so close. A s- zucchini? Yes. Ding yeah. ding ding. You know, I was gonna say zucchini and then I kept saying no, it's an eggplant. Your follow your instinct. I know. Follow your gut. That's what my acting teacher would say i am your acting (laughs) teacher that's what i'm saying um lovely what is your most memorable birthday party (gasps) oh my god i had a few you could give Um, me a handful of memorables if you remember all of them then clearly they're the most i don't remember all of them so i'd say the most memorable one and the one i think I remember having the most fun at I had a cowboy themed birthday that's crazy that's Um, so fun that's very up your alley so everyone dressed up as cowboys um and then my mom did this whole thing first in the garage she like tied a bunch of strings and had donuts on it and we had to eat the donut off the string without hands um and then there was like a puppet show 
or it was like a, a box basically mm-hmm. and you had to put your hand in and feel and oh, guess what, what you it were was? feeling okay yeah. Yeah, yeah um but they were supposed to be like halloween themed ish like body parts oh my like god that's stuff. crazy yeah how old um, were you i want to say like third grade okay so young. like seven like nine. Oh, i was gonna say like eight or nine i can't count that's I probably think. no I yeah nine I feels say like eight. third grade i want to say eight yeah i'm gonna say eight um super fun i've had birthday parties at mcdonald's those are fun oh my god i love a mcdonald's party room are you kidding yeah they're yep. so good I had one at the YMCA pool. That's fun. A little pool um, party. Yeah. That's I crazy. had one at a like reptile. Oh, okay, Nolan. Place. Love. Yeah, it's called Reptile Land, and it's just like that sounds sick. They have snakes and stuff. Whoa. Yeah. That sounds great. But definitely the cowboy one was probably my most memorable. Um. Okay. Next question. Where's my invite? Okay, you know what else? I'm gonna, as a kid, as an adult, uh huh. I think my most memorable memorable birthday was my 22nd birthday. What did you do for your 22nd birthday? So that was the year that Emily Chajowski. That was Cur- yeah, that was came. your COVID birthday. Um, it was pre-COVID. It was right before was COVID. It? Okay. Yeah, it was 2019. Uh huh. Um. Oh and yeah. So yeah. It was right before COVID, but. I don't know. Something about that birthday. I feel like so many people who I hadn't seen in so long, like, came out to, like, see me. Cute. So it was just a very fun... We went to karaoke. Oh, that's um, fun. It was so much fun. Love. Um, so Wait, that's Emily came to see you and you guys had just met? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that crazy. Right the summer. I know. Love. Love. Great. Yeah. I wasn't there. Nope, you weren't invited. Yeah, I actually wasn't. That's crazy. What the hell? I didn't. I didn't know you. <laughs> I remember calling you on the day. Yeah, you did. From the dorm, and, and Charlotte was holding the phone while I was getting changed in the background. Oh, I vividly remember Charlotte. that. Charlotte. Yeah, she wasn't invited either. Yeah, well, she would have been. I think you came like the weekend after or something. I definitely did. Yeah, it was like a weekend before. It I was. Think. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'll allow it. Fine. Um. Okay, next question. Great answers. Correct. Um, Thank you. You're welcome. What is Catherine's explanation to Palma as to why Maggie has an English accent? Because she studied improv? Or she just went to an acting camp? You would think. She studied something. Let's think... Let's let's assume the accent's authentic. No, that's what I was gonna say. She studied in England. Yes. Yeah. But she went to like an acting camp in England or something like that. Boarding school. Boarding school. Okay. Boarding school. Um, but I knew she like studied, studied. in England. I just Killed didn't know studied. where. Killed studied. Um. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> now, who didn't go to the gym and only took the stairs? Never an elevator, according to Catherine's mother. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Is it an actress? It's an actor. Um. They're a friend of the pod. If that helps. Is it Hugh Grant? No, not that close a friend of the pod. Oh my god, hold on. Cary Grant? Yes! Okay. You got that. That's why I was like, Grant. <laughs> yeah. You got it. you with that. Um, great job. Correct. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, how many was that? Two? Yeah. That was two, yeah. Okay. What movie is Dolph Lundgren's namesake from? Oh, no. And it's referenced in the movie. It's referenced in this movie. Yes. Uh, why couldn't you have just been like, what is Eddie's... His name. Fake name. <laughs> okay, do you have a hint? So, I don't know if the actor who played this character. Dolph Lundgren. But mm. the actor who is in these films, because it's a franchise, is famous. 
It's a franchise. Oh, my God. Philadelphia. Rocky. Technical difficulties. Wes Sarbach. In the middle of that question, when I did answer twice, and there is video and audio proof of it, Annabelle ignored me. I sat there and said, you got an answer? No, literally you did, actually. I answered, and you said, are you going to make a guess? No, what was your guess? Um, it was Rocky. Oh, yeah, correct. <laughs> <laughs> Though it's, it's, a, it's Rocky Four. Well, the thing is, so I said it, and then you're silent. <laughs> so true. Classic And me. I'm just like, I'm like, Rocky. And you go, are you going to make a guess? <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if I had, I was just being rude. <laughs> you going to make a real guess? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. Ready for, okay. Yes. Um correct. <laughs> <laughs> we're we're th- back. We're so we're back. so back. Um now bad. What's a gift you've always wanted but never got? Oh my god. I mean, so I did end up getting this. Oh. Lucky you. Wait, why do I feel like we have this? What was your answer to this question? I think I asked this to you, didn't I? No. Oh, I I didn't? Maybe you did. I don't did. know why I have a memory of me asking you this. I don't think you did. Maybe, I feel like we might have talked about it, but I don't think it was one of the Maybe. pod ones. So I definitely feel like I got it. One of them was always a dog. <gasps> oh, yeah. We do have the same um, answer on that. That's what I thought. I was going to say, I knew that I think you would have said that. Yes, I just think we've talked about it not on pod okay yeah um it was a dog um but i did and we me and my sister got a dog um so no lucy oh the rj dog (laughs) it's not ruby (laughs) you're so right well after um and so we had lucy and that was always something i wanted but other than that i'm like i feel like there's nothing like so big that I want that's like impossible to get you know what I mean yeah even as a kid I don't remember being I mean my sister was asked for a horse really she would yeah yeah she never got it (laughs) what (laughs) but now she works um, at a vet yeah they don't do horses I don't know what vets (laughs) do I fear (laughs) Um, well, there's certain types of animal vets. Um, hers is mostly just like Dogs. domestic. Yeah. Cats. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't think I can remember anything. Mother, if you're listening, comment below. Diane, <laughs> let us know. That was, that was really never something I could ever get because I don't really remember anything. Okay. I never, I never reached for the stars. I should have. No, that's nice. You kept your expectations realistic because that way you can never be disappointed. Amen. Amen. Um, great. Correct. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what chain of hotels do they stay at in Hawaii? Oh, no. Oh, my God. Is it a real chain? Yes. Okay. Um, I'm like, I don't know why I'm leaning towards like, Four Seasons. Um, no. Wyndham. No. Um, what's it start with? <laughs> well, I can't tell you that. Oh, will they give it away? Yeah. Marriott. No. Hilton. Yes. Is it actually the Hilton? It is the Hilton. I Because I was trying to guess. I was like looking for science. And he's like, you're part of the Hilton Honors Program? And then I saw the like HH I, that's, behind that's them. That's what made me think of it. Because I remember them talking about like the Honors Program. But my thing yeah. about that, I was like, this hotel seems too nice to be Hilton. <laughs> I literally thought that as well. I was like, no way this is a Hilton. I yeah, stayed like, at a Hilton. Nice. There's no way. <laughs> yes, like, what are we doing here? If you gave me H, there's also Holiday Inn. You think that was a Holiday Inn? <laughs> you Who think knows? the five-star luxury resort in Hawaii that they stayed That's at was a There's Holiday no... Inn? Okay, maybe it's not a Hilton. It's just in the unit family. The Hilton Honors. And they use Hilton Honors. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, 
So perhaps we're all wrong. Don't you? Maybe. Are you Googling it? I was going to Google it, but then I was like, what if I see something else? I don't want to. That's true. That's true. Okay. Correct. Eventually. <laughs> <laughs> what do Maggie and Adam... Uh, I just said Adam instead of his name. That's what I wrote in my notes. <laughs> what <laughs> do Maggie and... Mr. Sandler. <laughs> Senor Sandler. And... Uh, Danny, settle on as compensation for the lie. Maggie and Danny? Yes. Bailey the kids? and uh, Bailey and Adam Sandler. What did she they specifically agree? Eat a piece of pizza? No. Like what does she get in compensation for going along with his lie? Like what, fifty bucks? No. <clears throat> They do 75? some they do some bargaining. She asks is 50 for the moon. One of them? That is one of the suggestions that he gives, and then they meet yeah. somewhere in the middle. Um, five hundred and acting classes. You're so close. Improv classes. You, so okay, um, you were closer the first time. Acting. Th- that you've oh a th- like a two week course at. Some acting company. Would you like the answer? Yeah, give me the answer. Um, they said at first she asked for like I think five hundred a week. She said five hundred for the week or five hundred for the day, and a five week acting course. And then he says like a course at the oh, YMCA. One week acting course or something. Yeah. yeah. The YMCA. So then they settle on three hundred, and a three week acting course. Okay. And then he is his different or are you just doing Danny and Maggie's? Cause I was just doing Danny and Maggie's because his is like, okay. I want to go to Hawaii to swim with the yeah seals, dolphins, dolphins. Yeah. <laughs> the sharks. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. I had the gist. I had no, the gist. You, I you got it. You got it. You knew the scene. We were in the scene. We were at the table. We were in the we restaurant. We were at JD McFunnigan's. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, correct. Actually, we weren't at J.D. McFunnigan's. He we wanted to have the meeting at J.D. McFunnigan's. That was yeah. one of his... Yeah. And he got it. He did. When they play the game, talking points, the mm. prompt, name, th- name something that makes you sad, comes up. What is Palmer's answer? That NSYNC broke up. <laughs> That's the line read that I was like, she did that really <laughs> sincerely. Like, she could have... <laughs> She could have hammed it, but I was like, whoa, I believed her. <laughs> Girls. No, literally, I love that line. Love it. And then this is just like a little bonus point. Okay. What is Maggie's answer? Her husband is a member of NSYNC. What? Sorry. Really? Yeah, and he's on the plane with her. Oh. Or, sorry, he's not a member of NSYNC, but his her husband's on the plane with her, the other fan of NSYNC. I'm totally wrong. Love. Um, you know the guy she meets on the plane? At the end, yeah. That, like, is an NSYNC fan at the end? That's her husband. Yeah. Oh, that's cute. In real life. That's really cute. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, what is Maggie's answer? That dad doesn't... That's... Oh, no, that's Griffin's. Yeah. Um, I didn't bring his oh, into it because I didn't wait, care. Wait, hold on. That... Judy Dench has never won an Oscar. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and the line read? To perfection. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Bailey Madison is in the room with us. <laughs> yes. Amazing. Yes. Amazing. Congratulations. Thank you. I literally was envisioning the scene and seeing her in my head. And you head. killed it. You slaughtered. Thank you. Um, what gifts do you think you're going to get this year? <gasps> I'm definitely getting a jacket. Mm-hmm. I know that. Is it the jacket? Um, no. Oh my god, no. I, I was wish. Like, Whoa, um, okay. No. It's like a Carhartt winter jacket. Um, oh yes, yeah, I knew it. yes, yes. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be getting an Orla Gartland vinyl. Oh cute. Um and that's it. Because that's all I asked for really. Lovely wait, you weren't you didn't you ask for something else? Twice? What? That's for Christmas. Oh. Because it doesn't come out until December 6th. Okay. Spoilers. 
um, spoilers for our Christmas episode when I say what do you think I you're know. getting out for Christmas this year. Ugh. <laughs> okay, <laughs> never mind. Um, yay. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe something else. Who knows? Well, yeah, I mean, I've got you stuff, but I'm not going to make you venture a guess. I also probably wouldn't be able to guess. You're not going to guess. <laughs> <laughs> you're literally not going to guess it. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Um, Love. Correct. Uh, <laughs> I could be wrong. Watch me be wrong. <laughs> That's why I was like, let's wager a guess on the pod. And then next week we come yeah. back, we talk about what you got. And you said, I got Hall. none of that. <laughs> I was a bad boy this year on my birthday. I got <laughs> cold. Naughty. Naughty. Um, what did Devlin's husband, Ian Maxton Jones, allegedly invent? The iPod. Correct. Go for the eye, man. <laughs> Correct. And then Danny invented the barking hand. So true. <laughs> that we don't love it over Retriever. Calm it down. Did I ask that? Was that on the paper? Was that on the test? <laughs> okay. Um, how did he actually make his money? Um, oh my God, Nicole Kidman sitting at the bar at the end next to Jennifer Aniston. And yeah. she's like, he didn't invent the iron pod. He, oh, he found something in his soup at like, or in his <laughs> fries or something at like a Burger King. He like sued no am i making that up yeah wait the end of it hold on to that he like found something in his no, food no no the beginning of and that s- lose it lose he it su- okay he sued somebody <laughs> yes. yes but i don't remember who or why he sued i thought it was because he found like a hair in his food or something. you know <laughs> can you give me a hint i just did i gave you a physical hint this is a podcast perhaps i should talk um basketball oh no oh he's su- at a oh that's not what you were doing <laughs> what was this um i was pitching ladder i was pitching oh he got hit by a foul ball at a baseball game yes do you want to guess the team dodgers yes good job i don't um, know why i thought it was food i knew it was a lawsuit but i didn't <laughs> i did not remember that um and if you could go back to any birthday and relive it Either because you had so much fun and want to do it again, or because you want to change something. Which would it be? <gasps> oh, deep question. Deep question. Thank Honestly, you. I would probably go back to my 22nd birthday. I ch- still think that, that was like the most fun birthday I had. Yeah, can yeah. you invite me? Can you no. change that? <laughs> Sorry, I'm reliving it. I'm not changing it. That's crazy. <laughs> I don't think that I had a birthday that you'd want to that change. Was, like, horrible yeah good when i was little i used to get so excited for my birthday parties that i'd get sick the day of oh um yeah i would f- be throwing up like because i was so excited stop that's so cute and sad <laughs> Aww. yeah take a tums no that is that what you do now <laughs> yeah that's what i do yeah <laughs> that's how you blunt um, is well, that all the questions? That's all the questions. Oh my gosh. How did I do? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess. There's only... I'm trying to think of like ones I really like hardcore missed. Um, I'd say I missed Rocky for sure. I'll give you a, a refresh. Sure. Plastic surgeon, tick. Cardiologist, almost. No, I didn't get that. Okay. I didn't get that. Um... Swim with the dolphins, tick. Yes. Devil and Adam's tick. Wait. <laughs> Did you that? do that? No. <laughs> My hands are right here. <laughs> Were those? I. How is this happening? Um, I just took a screenshot, but on we are facetiming and balloons just started coming up from the floor on the video and i genuinely thought you added an effect how do they know it's your birthday my hands are right here wait say happy birthday happy birthday i also didn't say happy birthday i said tick happy birthday congratulations tick. I'm Congrats. calling the police. I'm calling the pl- none of them. Are, none crazy. of them are working. I'm literally calling I the police. Like, 
Yeah, my hands were here, so I was like, I have no idea how that's happening. Oh my god. That's so weird. That's the most insane thing. (laughs) I genuinely was like, oh, you... Because you know how you like to prank with filters, you little crazy cat? I do, I do, I do. Um, I'm kind of scared. That's so weird. That was insane. Um, Anywho, I'm here. Devlin Adams... Yes, I'd give that to myself. No, yes, yes. Um, white with red flowers. You got the f- uh, red flowers half. half. Um, zucchini. I'm gonna say you got it. Yeah, because even that second, was your first instinct too. Yeah, and also like eggplant. Same family. Same shit. Um, boarding school in England. I feel like you got there. I knew it was a school in England. I just didn't know it was boarding, or I knew it was like classes or something in England. Studied in England. Yes, yes, and that's you do in fact study. Um, Cary Grant. Oh, I had that. You had it. You Hugh Grant and Cary Grant, two peas in a goddamn pod. Um, I got to Grant and it gave me the answer. They he granted you access to Cary. Uh, um, Rocky Four. No, I'm not taking that one. I mean, I couldn't hear it once. You told me Philadelphia franchise, so I knew immediately. That's true. Um, chain of hotels. I mean, I got there, but there's not that many hotels you can really guess, so I won't take it. Okay. 300 a week, three-week acting course. I feel like... Give yourself a half. half. Give yourself a half. So, like, I can... So, Minky makes that a whole. Of course she does. Of course she does. Um, In Sync broke up, yes. Oh, absolutely. Dame Judy Dench, yes. Bonus point acquired. iPod, Yes. The Sue in the foul ball. I got the Sue, but I did not get the foul ball. Half. Okay. And that's the end. Oh, and like you got five out of five for your birthday questions. So I got 11 and a half out of 15. Yes. That's pretty good. That is pretty amazing. Good. That's re- no, that's really good. It's barely passing. Um. <laughs> oh my God. But you got 16 and a half out of 20. That's true. I did get a 77%. So. That's good. That's very good. Congratulations. Yay. And for tomorrow, happy birthday. Oh my God, thank you. You're so welcome. Are you excited? Uh, I'm, yeah. I am. <laughs> okay. Convince me. I am. I am. I am. <laughs> All right. Um. I'm looking forward to it. That's so good. So am I. Maybe I'll watch Just Go With It. Maybe. I think you need to. I think I should. Yeah. After this. Yeah. At 9.54 a.m., turn on Just Go With It. Amen. Amen. I'm going to. You've convinced me. Good. That was my aim. Well. All right. Well, I think that this I think can I, come to a close. You know what I've realized? Because you're just so goddamn excited that it's your birthday. You're starting to feel a little sick. I'm so sick. You're so I sick. I think that it's going to last me a week to get over it. So Yeah, I think we better see you. Next. Cheers. <laughs> Bye. You didn't say day. Oh, I heard day come out of you. Cheers. Day. Bye. Bye. <laughs>